What's up guys, Skidder Rampage here, so today we have some interesting Funko news. Jujutsu Kaisen last night was revealed on Amazon, which is awesome. We also do have a possible Blacklight Tanjiro Tea Bundle. First Blacklight anime? Oh my god. We also do have brand new Batman Pops finally announced, as well as Black Clover listings on Amazon too, and much more, so let's check it out. back to another Funko Pop video today guys. Before we jump into today's video topics, I wanted to tell you guys that I do have a Whatnot Live happening tonight. Um, me and Captain Pops, he asked me if I wanted to buy a collection with him and I was like, sure, why not? Uh, so we did buy a collection and I don't know if I want to share the footage I have. It, I, just, I don't think it's going to make like for a good, good video. So that's why you didn't see a video on the channel yet. But if you guys want to see it, maybe I can make something happen. It's just like a it's like an eight minute video. It's nothing very fancy because it was very, very fast moving deal. Um, but anyways, we do have a whatnot live tonight at 8 p.m. EST. Here's a little banner for you. Um, use the link down below that I have in my description. That gets you 10 free dollars, gets me 10 free dollars. And I believe that's when you buy something. Um, it says in the little description thing. So that's a free $10 for you guys, even if you just want to come and hang out and you buy something, you know, elsewhere on the app. But um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Our last one was awesome. We had like 500 people in there in my auction. I will be live on his page. Let me stress that enough. I will be live with him on his uh, whatnot page. So make sure to go over to his account, give him a follow and everything. But um, yeah, here's some of the anime as well. Like we're going to go over this image really quick. This is some of the anime that was in the collection. Uh, we have some Dragon Ball Z, we have some My Hero Academia, we have a lot of Pokemon, which is cool. Um, a lot of the Flocked and Diamond Collection ones. We have some Demon Slayer, which is nice. We have some Full Metal Alchemist, One Piece, um, Naruto, a bunch of stuff. Uh, what am I trying to see here? We have some Yu-Gi-Oh, like six inch figures. Um, some Hello Kitty, Avatar, um, My Hair Academia, whole shebang, guys. We have, ooh, even some Gravity Falls, which is cool. Um, we do have a Naruto and Gamikichi, which is nice. Obelisk, uh, Forbidden One, like, we have a lot of different stuff in there, guys. And this is just the anime. We're also doing Marvel, so it's kind of like a tag team, anime and Marvel. And there's going to be a bunch of cool Marvel ones and a bunch of Grails in there as well. Um, so, yeah, make sure to stop by, guys, and I would love to see you there. And make sure to use the link down below, of course, and set a reminder for the live at 8 p.m. ES. Also, one more thing that I did want to mention is that I've seen a lot of people comment that they've been watching the videos for a long time and they're not subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Check if you're subscribed because sometimes YouTube unsubscribes or sometimes some people like keep getting recommended my videos or uh, they keep watching them and they realize, oh, I'm not even subscribed. So if you want to subscribe and get notifications for the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications as well as you're already down there. So smash the like button for Funko News. Anyways, let's jump into today's video topics, guys. So um, we do have a lot to go over. We have some um, Amazon listings uh, for Black Clover and for Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, Black Clover came out a while ago, but I figured I'd share it anyways because a lot of you guys were, uh, you got a lot of you guys keep commenting about it. So I figured I'd talk about it. Um, we also do have some brand new Disney pops, some brand new um, Batman pops some Tanjiro tea bundle black light that's kind of crazy so that's gonna be a whole nother discussion so stay tuned for that that's crazy um, and then we just have some other uh, cool things to talk about some Star Wars and things like that so um, I guess something I actually wanted to talk about first uh, let's talk about this first so this is a post that Funko made on Instagram. It says, guess what's coming in 12 days? And this is everything that's going to be coming on a little bit of live stream for their fun TV. Now, um, the reason I did want to mention this as well as they're going to be announcing a bunch of new products most likely is that they will probably be, ha uh, be announcing that they will be at London Toy Fair um, about five, six days later, or maybe they'll announce their own separate event from Toy Fair. But they are on the actual exhibitor list for Toy Fair um, on the London Toy Fair website. So I'm assuming they're supposed to be there or they're going to be in some sort of collab with them. But let's see what we're going to have here. We're going to have Funko Pop quiz. Um, that reveals a lot of different random stuff like new pop. So that's pretty fun, actually. Um, let's play. Looks like more Funko games. Uh, fun uh, fanatics. Um, shout outs. Do you guys think I should submit for that? Do you guys want me to submit for the fanatics thing? <laughs> would it be weird seeing me on Funko social media? I don't know. I feel like that would be weird. Let me know, though. Uh, we also do have the Fun House, uh, Pop Talk with Brian Mariotti. Okay, that's cool. Um, it's too bad he's not a uh, CEO. Was he the one that was CEO? Or was the other guy, Mike? I don't remember which one was CEO. Anyways, uh, Funko Flicks here, Funko Feature, 
a look at Loungefly, so we're going to get more Loungefly and uh, Pop Around the World Part 2, it does look like. So, uh, it's going to be premiering on Fun TV January 20th, and that's going to be on Funko's Twitter and probably Funk no, Funko's YouTube. It's going to be on Funko's YouTube, my bad. Uh, so you can go over to their page and set a reminder. I'm sure they maybe have like a live countdown or something, but either way, yes. Coming in 12 days, we are probably going to get a ton of different announcements and a ton of new pops, so stay tuned for all that, guys. But... Again, I wanted to mention this because I think they're going to be at Funko Fair, uh, or London Toy Fair, excuse me, 2022 is what I'm trying to say. So uh, I think it's going to be interesting, and I'm curious to see what they announce then. Now let's talk about these Batman Pops one more time really quick because we did kind of extensively talk about them for like three or four minutes the other day um, in a Funko News. So uh, first up, we do have the, I guess, the common and chase wave here. We have Batman, and we also have Batman, I think, with a battering. No, what's on his hand? I can't even tell what's on his finger there. It looks like something's shooting out of it or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, we also do have Selena Kyle there with the unmasked chase. I don't mind the chase, actually. I think the chase is the better of the two. The ski mask just kills it for me for some reason. I don't know. But unmasked, I think she looks great. And then we also do have Cobblepot. I was a little disappointed, I won't lie, in the chase. Like, I know it's a chase. It's supposed to be just different in a general sense, but I don't know. I felt like the chase could be better. It's just him with... No coat, in my opinion. I don't know. Um, then we also do have the Riddler here. I don't know. So I, I didn't mention this in my last video, and uh, somebody who commented saying they um, are really looking forward to Riddler's character and pop in this movie, um, I replied to them, and this what I wanted to say was this Riddler rem reminds me a lot of Batman Hush's Riddler. If you haven't seen Batman Hush, it's a really good movie. Um, but yeah, it reminds me of that version of Riddler. Uh, where he's looks a little bit more sadistic, is a little crazy, and has a completely different look outside of, you know, the Riddler. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what this Riddler gives me vibes of, almost. Like, it's not the same type of character, but it kind of gives me the same vibes. But it's going to be very interesting um, to see the Riddler like this in this movie. Um, then we also do have the Hot Topic exclusive Batman, which I do like that one. Um, I, what is different, though? Oh, is it a different suit? No? Is it metallic or something? It's gotta be like metallic or something, I'm only assuming, because it doesn't look much different than the common, unless I'm missing some... Oh, no, 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 he looks beaten up. Yeah, he's a little beaten up. Oh, that's not much different. There's a couple scrapes on the mask, that's about it. Ah, that's kind of lame. Uh, but this one, I was a little bummed about to see the Pop in a Box exclusive um, be one of the best ones in the set, and that's the Unmasked with the uh, grease paint all over his eyes. Little, little disappointed because he's even holding the cowl. He just, he looks excellent. The bat suit looks amazing too in pop form. So I'm hoping that'll be an easy grab from Pop in a Box or maybe I'll just grab it elsewhere. I don't know. Uh, we also do have the Funko Shop exclusive. It looks like when he's gliding, um, a wingsuit, I believe. And then as well as the Target exclusive is just Bruce Wayne. Um, and then we also do have the Batmobile Selena Kyle on the bike, as well as some Funko Pop keychains. And then we also do have a Walmart four pack. Now, Personally, I would just buy the four pack at Walmart if you can get it in good condition because Walmart's a little mm. But I would buy the four pack over the commons because, like, it's, I think an exclusive four pack is better than four individual commons. That's my opinion here, at least. It differs for different things, but I would say I don't think you technically need both. Some people, you know, are diehard fans, so they'll buy, you know, all eight or whatever, uh, or all five pieces to this uh, set, you know, the four commons and then the one four pack. But um, I, would, I would personally go for the four pack over the four comments, but that's just me. But anyways, overall, it is a really good set. I'm excited for the movie. Let me know your thoughts. If you guys are excited for the movie, you're gonna go watch the movie, and let me know what you think of the pops. Also announced by Funko yesterday, we did get a brand new Walt Disney 50th line here. Uh, so first up, we did get the uh, people movers here, which was kind of funny, actually. Uh, so we do have Mickey, we have Minnie, we have Pluto, as well as Stitch being a Funko Shop exclusive, as well as Mickey with the uh, Sorcerer's Hat, as well as Captain Hook there, um, I guess in his ride? Is that his, is there a Captain Hook ride at Disney? I don't know, me and Bailey went like a couple months ago, but I don't remember there being a Captain Hook ride. I don't know, let me know, let me know. I don't, like, like I said, I've only really been to Disney twice ever in my entire life. I think the first time was, well actually, I might not have been to Disney ever before Bailey. Maybe once as a kid, but I don't even remember, honestly. But either way, 
Um, we had fun. I'm gonna take her back for her birthday probably this year, but uh, the People Movers, very interesting. I think this is the thing next to Space Mountain, if I'm not mistaken, uh, right above the cafe that like moves them around all around. It's a pretty cool thing if you, you know, ever go. Um, definitely something you should see. It's very interesting. Uh, but anyways, we also do have Space Mountain um, with Mickey and Amazon exclusive as well as a Diamond Collection version of the Mickey. And then we also do have a flocked, oh, what's his name? Oh, I don't remember the dog's name. Isn't that Space Dog? or whatever with the key in the Oh no, no, that's not the space dog. That's the Pirates of the Caribbean dog. <laughs> Is that the Pirates of the Caribbean dog where he's holding the key in the mouth? Uh, block box lunch exclusive. Um, and then we also do have some plushies here of different places, I guess, for Disney. We Okay, so we have Epcot. Um, we have the castle. Some of these are hard to make out what they are. Is that a chef's hat for Ratatouille? Maybe? I don't know, Funko plushies. Let me know if you guys are going to grab them. And then lastly, we do have Funko keychains. Uh, we have Mickey, Peter Pan, and then Diamond Collection, Hot Topic exclusive and box lunch versions of those uh, regular ones. So overall, let me know what you guys think of the 50th wave. Uh, do you guys think it could have been better? Would you change anything? Would you want a certain pop for this wave? Let me know your thoughts on the 50th anniversary pops. Now, you probably missed it because most people did. Tomiki did go online last night, but only about 250 went up, and very weird that they would put only that much stock up. Um, I think somebody was saying that they were testing to see if their website would crash or whatever, but it's almost like if you put only 250 up, people are going to be on and off. Once it's sold out, nobody's going to be on it. Nobody could even post it by the time this thing actually went up and went out of stock. So um, I think Hot Topic just needs to know by now that for most drops that are really hot like this one or um, big anime things people have been waiting on, um, your website's probably gonna run a little slow unless you upgrade the servers or whatever, but um, for the most part, yeah, only about 250 went up, so we should see a restock, maybe hopefully a big restock of her fairly soon. So let me know, were you one of the lucky few to be able to get a Tamaki on Hot Topic's mini drop last night? Now this one's interesting for Demon Slayer. It does look like we have a possible Blacklight Tanjiro T bundle here. Now this was originally rumored by Mario Bros, I think, um, and we were supposed to see this as a regular T bundle, and then now it's looking like it might be a Blacklight T bundle. So. Curious to see what that might look like, Blacklight uh, for Tanjiro there, as well as this will be the first Blacklight anime pop. I'm assuming if they do go through with this, they're going to go all out with anime, and they're going to be really hard to get. <sighs> I cry Wherever this goes live to, don't sleep on this, because everybody is going to go after this one, specifically because of the Blacklight hype as well as being a popular character. And of course, with anime being one of Funko's biggest categories, everybody's gonna go after this, whether you're a Star Wars fan, Marvel fan, basically to resell. So again, if this does come true, it's just a hypothetical right now, we don't have any solid facts, but um, if it does come true, that's gonna be kind of crazy. But I hope it looks really good if they do do it, Blacklight. Uh, but overall, let me know your thoughts. Are you guys gonna grab this if it comes true? Are you guys gonna pass on it? Do you think Funko's overdoing with Blacklight? Personally, I'd be good if they didn't touch anime with Blacklight. I'd be fine. I don't even want to deal with that. <laughs> it's already hard enough getting the Marvel Blacklight Pops, nonetheless, anime. So that's going to be kind of crazy. I'm a little scared, but let's see what happens. Now, spotted on Amazon last night, we did see Jujutsu Kaisen uh, get revealed by Amazon, basically. Now, Funko hasn't officially revealed this, but... It's, it is a good indication when you start seeing pre-order listings or just listings in general for new pops that haven't been announced yet that they are, you know, basically coming. Now, Jujutsu Kaisen was expected for April, May um, originally, so we should possibly see them still get revealed around that time. But overall, I think it's cool that Amazon did finally um, basically reveal to us that we will be seeing Jujutsu Kaisen pops. Now, they did reveal five different ones. Uh, we had Gojo there as well as Itadori with Chase. Um, um, we also do have Nobara as well as Mahiro and Megumi with dogs, a pop and buddy. Uh, so curious to see if the dogs are going to be big or smaller. That's going to be interesting. So it also does say S1. I'm assuming that means season one. Um, that means we could possibly see season two pops too, which would be cool. Uh, but we have five so far, six technically if you account Itadori and the Chase as two different pops. Um, so very interesting. It's a glow chase as well on Itadori, so curious to see what exactly that entails. Now originally, which was kind of funny, was that I heard that the Itadori chase was cancelled and was going to be an exclusive elsewhere or some kind of con exclusive, but maybe the chase is back on, but last I heard as well, 
um, the chase was canceled, so I guess not. I guess if Amazon's showing a you know Glow pre-order chase thing, um, very interesting. Just so you know as well, I don't think you can pre-order these just yet. This is another country's pre-order. I think it was Amazon UK or Amazon somewhere else. It was another Amazon, uh, basically. So very interesting to see overall. Now, in terms of when we could see an announcement, if it's expected for April uh, through May, then we should see an announcement for these pops fairly soon. Again. I'm, I'm guessing they're going to be a Funko Fair. That's my prediction. But of course, let me know your thoughts, guys, and let me know if you're super excited for Jujutsu Kaisen Pops. Same situation on Amazon. This was revealed about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago. We did have a Black Clover's Yuno and Noel, um, as well as the Black Clover Keychain of Asta. So again, these are just like the Jujutsu Kaisen Pops showing a December date, but we should see these earlier. Again, I was told end of year, but if they come earlier, that's even better. Um, this is hoping no delays occur, but either way, Super excited for Black Clover, I'm super excited for uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, I can't wait to see what Funko reveals for anime in the next coming months. Now there were some other things that were revealed on Amazon, uh, thank you Distractors by the way, um, that weren't anime but some other things. We did have a Godfather 50th Vito, now this one's supposed to be like a pop VHS cover um, from what I heard, but there was also I think a new Godfather line uh, for the 50th anniversary anyways. There was Vito, uh, I think there was Michael as well as two other ones. There's Something like that. It was supposed to be a new wave for their 50th anniversary. 50 years, wow. Um, as well as we do have Disney Classics, uh, Disney Classics, excuse me, Minnie Mouse. We also did have Disney Classics Donald Duck, um, a Jimi Hendrix, a new Jimi Hendrix pop, another one, good lord. Uh, Disney Make-A-Wish, we have Cheshire Cat Metallic, Minnie Mouse Metallic for Wake-A-Wish. Uh, we have Turning Red, Pop Disney, as well as Make-A-Wish solely there. Uh, Britney Spears Circus with Chase as well. And then I think that's everything. Oh, Pluto Disney Classics. But yes, uh, we do have a Britney Spears with Chase. We have a bunch of stuff coming soon. So basically, Amazon just like leaked everything. <laughs> Amazon's just like, you know what? You know what? I'm tired of Funko not giving me my pops. Leak it all. Leak it all. I don't know. But overall, we do have a lot of new Funko Pops coming soon. So let me know what you're most excited about. Here you can take a look at the brand new Mickey Mouse as Tigger, I think. I think. I think. Or Mickey Mouse skinned Tigger. I don't know. I don't know what happened with this in this pop. But anyways, he's wearing Tigger. Maybe Tigger did him wrong. I don't. I don't know. Maybe they got into a brawl on the streets, and he's like, he's like, ho oh, you like, yeah, something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was going for there. Oh boy, that's great. Anyways, we have Mickey Mouse with skinned Tigger, and he's wearing him as a trophy. It is an Asia uh, Pacific exclusive. <laughs> And it should be releasing in February from what I've seen. Uh, so let me know, are you guys going to pick this one up? What do you think of this pop? Because I, honestly, it's kind of funny. Here's a look at the Diamond Collection exclusive Beth Harmon uh, final game exclusive uh, from the Queen's Gambit Netflix series show. Is this good? I believe this is like a chess thing, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a chess kind of show or whatever. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this Queen's Gambit show. I heard good things about it, but I'm curious what you guys think or if any of you even watch it that are subscribed here. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. For my Star Wars fans, take a look at the brand new Star Wars Valentine's Pops. Thank you, Disc Trackers, for the photos here. Uh, we do have the Mandalorian here saying, To Grogu, love Amanda. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Not bad with the pink armor. Not bad. I think the pink looks kind of good on them. Uh, we also do have the Grogu pop, which, oh my god, people are going to love that. As well as, uh, I, mm, is that Luke? Is that Luke Skywalker holding Grogu? I don't know the Star Wars lore. I'm sorry. We also do have Ahsoka here where she's holding a little candy chocolate heart box. Um, and there should be four pops in this wave. I don't think any of them are exclusives. I think they're just all commons. Um, they, I think they've done this like one or two times already for these pops. Curious to see if they do any other lines for the Valentine's theme. But uh, let me know your thoughts. Are you guys going to pick up these Star Wars ones or pass on them? Well, guys, that's everything that I have for you today for this Funko News update. Uh, comment down below. What are you most excited about? We talked about Jujutsu Kaisen, the Batman, Black Clover. Um, um, Fire Force Tamaki, she's a little bit of an iffy situation, but we went over a lot in this video, some new Star Wars, some new Disney. Um, I think Jujutsu Kaisen, as it gets closer, like originally when they revealed, I was like, okay, cool, you know, this is going to be a very popular anime, and I was like, I'm debating, you know, what pops I want to get. Gojo, I'd probably buy Gojo, to be honest, but um, I know originally I wasn't as hyped, but as we get closer and the more pops that are revealed and, you know, just the anticipation, it's kind of building up the excitement for me, I won't lie. Um, going to be very interesting. Like, like I said before, it's not one of my favorite animes, but I did finish it. It's a good anime, um, but I don't even know if it would be in my top five. 
overall. Maybe, maybe my top 10, but probably not my top five. But either way, we have a lot of pops coming soon. A lot of new ones, a lot of old ones that have been yet to be revealed, but crazy stuff happening in Funko right now. But if you did enjoy the video, please smash that like button down below. Now, of course, I do want to say a big shout out to all the Patreon supporters of the channel. Thank you guys for the monthly support. I really do appreciate it. And I, I know I say like, I really do appreciate it a lot, but that's the best way I could put it that I do appreciate your support every single month. So again, big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. Now, if you guys would like to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We also do have a Patreon only discord where we have about 60 to 65 members and uh, they would love more friends. So if you guys want to check that out and join an awesome community, check out that link down below. We also do have a Facebook group. It's buy, sell, and trade, and you can make a ton of friends in there, and much more goes on in there, so make sure to check that out. And lastly, be following my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok for more updates. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.